Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back for app and this is Talking to the Architect. Today, we'll be discussing the differences between serverless and backend as a service. So, the first aspect they differ is about scalability. The serverless uh, environments are scalable by default. So, it doesn't matter the traffic uh, you, you consume from those servers, it will automatically scale up until it reaches your needs. On the backend as a service, uh, it's a little bit different. It can or cannot uh, scale, scale up automatically. Here at back for app we do count with automatic scalability depending on the plans that you're going uh, to use. So uh, if you use a uh, free plan, it's automatically scale up to a certain limit. And if you are in a paid plan, we can scale up as much as you need to in order to attend the business needs of your end app application. The second aspect that, that we are going to discuss is how uh, is the event-driven uh, way to program your application. When you have a serverless, uh, serverless uh, environment, it's all event-driven. It must be run from a, a, all the code must be run after uh, a event is sent and the code will run in response to that event. In a backend as a service otherwise, it's a little bit different. It can be invoked by uh, events or it can be uh, cast by the front-end SDKs. Here at back for app we work with both. So if you need to do event-driven uh, applications or call the methods that you need through uh, SDK or GraphQL or even REST API calls, you are free to do so. So these are the main differences between serverless and backend as a service. I hope you find this video useful and hope to see you on the next one soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.